<laughs> Good boy. I'm gonna get dried. Wait, wait for me. Of course you don't wait for me. Good boy. Right. Hello guys, um, this is our part two of the full pet sitter groom. Um, in the part one, we've covered the pre-bathing work. Um, we worked on his head and a little bit of body hand strip. Now he's been bathed, um, he's squeaky clean. I've used two shampoo lots for him. So we shampooed twice. The first one contained uh, squirt of washing up liquid um, which is the tough sulfates that dissolves any silicon build up because this is a, a big topic uh, but I have not ever found a silicon free product that can actually detangle and you have seen the pictures I've uh, just gone in the video where I showed you just how badly matted he is I think it's about a month or so since his last bath now he's still very matted i don't know if you can see uh and there's still a lot of grass and everything stuck in his coat which i didn't want to rip out um, and pull out um, in the bath a lot of the field matter came out in the bath but there's still a lot there now normally i would just get on with drying um because drying will help push the mats out um but what i this video and this this groom i want to really shorten his feathers so i'd like to take maybe a half of them off um, and that's because as you can see the length is working against us he's matting terribly and um I want to try to stop that a little bit and give his coat a chance to regrow. Now, even if the new hair starts coming through, it's going to get tangled in a lot of this dead coat that it's in there. This has been growing for four and a half years. Um, and other than one little tip on the ends, he's never had it cut or trimmed in any way. And he's got to a point where we really need to take some of the length off um, to try to save what wouldn't be falling out. And also this helps you if you've got some older pets that you need to take some of the coat off because they just don't need it. It takes a lot longer, this length, to bath it, to dry it. It takes a lot more products to use. Um, and um, it can be a, a, quite a nightmare for pet owners to deal with. Um, so I will take some of it off. He doesn't need it. Now, normally I wouldn't pre-brush him, but I want to trim them off wet um, because I, I would get a more even cut taking that much off than on the dry coat. Um, but that means trying to brush it through gently and make sure that it's completely matte free and still wet. Um, so I'm not sure if we can do it. I will try um, using my Denman pin brush, these are plastic pins, anti-static, quite a firm brush, um, never used it on him, I've tried it the other day on my old girl's ears, and I was quite surprised how good it was, um, and I always check my brush, make sure how much coat is coming out, um, I will get quite a fair amount of coat, out because he's so matted there's just no way you can do it without and that's exactly why i'm gonna um why i'm going to uh shorten them right um i'm gonna now go back to my other metal pin brush i have no idea what, where i've got this i absolutely love it the only problem is a bit small um this one is really a bit of brush So I'll see if I can be matting wet. Uh. Mm. 
and you always want to sort of line brush because if you just put your brush in the coat you see it goes nowhere it just gets stuck so you always have to start go through the tips and then you move your way up and you always just brush a small section at the time it doesn't matter how you want to do it he's now calmly sitting down so i'm going to work here where i can oh, he's a bit lower so he can't see we're working here on on his bottom of his chairs this is going to be cut as well he's lost a lot of the coat density there and uh it's a very dead coat and I'd like to regrow it. My little trusty pin brush never lets me down. Now I'm not using a slicker here, a slicker brush with the bent pins like that because I find that just pulls out far too much coat when it's this long it's okay on the short term i like to use it on his on hocks because i do keep the hocks quite full and they can be quite thick on some dogs um, and that's where i like the slicker brush and sometimes on the back of the front legs and sometimes you do have to go in to a really tough mats i mean this is his armpit here and that is really bad and it does get bad on any dog because of the rubbing where their legs rub against their chest so you will always find mats there please stop spinning around Same. good boy now there's and we've got already a bunch of grass seeds stuck in him Now, I've used, he's got no detangling products in him. Um, I've used the Hunting Repair and Protect Conditioner on the feathers, um, except the ears and the tail, because they don't seem to ever mat. Doesn't matter how long they are. His ones are not very thick, but they still don't mat. And on his short top coat, on his back and sides, ears and tails, I've used the uh, uh, L'Oreal Silicon Free Hair Mask because he's not matted there. Now, I can't get him... Stay! That armpit is really bad. Badly matted. So, I will hold side of the knot not try to tease it apart sideways. If a dog like that went to a groomer, grooming salon, he would most likely be shaved off. There's just no way they have time to do this. And if I didn't use a silicon-based conditioner, there's no way I would detangle this. And you can, I'm a, this is a really tough mat, so I came over to a slicker brush but I will remove more hair than I want to, but we just have to get rid of this heavy knot in his armpit. And again, you see I'm going down and teasing it about sideways, slowly. This is particularly tough. Stay. Right, no, you can't spin around, please. No, just sit that side, be good. So, 
can push through that one. See, I mean, he's, he's just a knotted mess, but it does come apart easily. And a lot of doggy big tangling sprays. I don't like to use them, I've tried a few, and I just don't. Um, I think it just adds on to your work. If you can have a conditioner that helps you detangle, then you need to skip the spraying more stuff on, and you still have to brush through anyway. And if the, it's got seeds stuck in there, so that's why that is not coming out. And this is the problem in the summer in England, that the grass is not cut while we walk and everything gets stuck in there. and more grass and stuff it's just so heavily tangled in the coat that it will not come out in a bath even though I've tried with the fingers is a lot of the the brain out and there's a lot of brown hair in here which you can't maybe see on the camera uh, and that's all dead coat and it needs to go so I don't mind if that is getting taken out with brushing the sooner that goes the better because as I've said previously unless you remove the dead coat the new coat cannot regrow in its place so we aren't going to take hair out unfortunately because that is what forms your mat. It's a hair that's falling out and it gets trapped in the hair that's still there and your mat starts forming. So you will always get some, but my aim with careful brushing is to save everything that wants to stay in and only remove the dead coat that is trapped in there creating the mat. So we are getting slowly somewhere. This is really going to be matted. Right, so you kind of guys get an idea of what we're doing. I'm gonna pause the video now and I'm gonna work through and we'll, we'll come back when he's combed through and still wet and I'm gonna cut his feathers down, damp. I might have to respray and then from the coat again because it's so fine at the moment, it dries pretty quickly by itself. Um, and then we'll cut the feathers and then I'll show you a little bit of drying with him and uh, we'll do other trimmings because there is uh, a little bit of more trimming to do um, and uh, also if you 
Now, um, you don't have to dry your dog uh, each time. If you've got a nice summer warm weather, um, you can just do what I'm doing now. Uh, make sure you brush them through gently, make the mat them properly to a point where you can easily get a comb through the whole coat and you can let them air dry. It's a lot of groomers say, no, you must always dry a dog. Um, I've many times let my dogs just air dry and I don't see no difference. And let's face it, those of you who have got says, and if you're watching it, you probably have one, you know that tomorrow he's gonna crawl into the first dirtiest ditch full of mud and stinky water that he can find. And uh, there goes your grooming. So, um, and mine go in the water every day in the summer. In the winter, he goes just to rinse his feathers out. Uh, he's taught on command to go in the river up to his elbows to rinse his feathers out where he pees on them uh, because I will not be washing them out. He ends up smelling really badly of pee um, after about a couple of days. If he has not had it rinse the pee out, he will smell. And I'm not gonna bath him every day or every week. Uh, so he goes in the river to have a rinse and uh, then he doesn't smell of pee. Oh, he's got a really heavy mat there in the other armpit. So we'll come back to that after. I mean, this, this, all, this whole thing is a one solid mat. Now, everybody would just get clippers and cut it out. If I had to do that, he'd have no hair left on him. And even though this is really thinned out and he's lost a lot of coat here, but he still has a lot more than a lot of show dogs I see and the length on them as well. So his coat is not broken, it's not damaged. He has a normal pet life. He crawls into everything, gets into trouble. Um, everything gets caught in his hair. So his coat's not gonna be perfect. He's not a house dog or a precious show dog that doesn't get to have a life um, in fields and hunt whatever he wants to hunt and I'm just trying to make the most out of the coat that he has got left. Um, and even if he was a show dog, I would still not just keep him on a lead or not let him run where I mean, he, This is just so bad. I don't know if you can see guys, but um, uh, I'm gonna pause here because this, if you can see, I mean, look at this. Uh, we have to work through this. So we will be back um, when we get all this sorted. I'll let you know how long right. did that take. Hey guys, so we're back. Now I've brushed him through wet. He's almost dry uh, by now, but I'm going to re-wet him. This is how much we removed. Um, this was all his mats. Now you see, if you lose this much hair every month, eventually you'll have no coat left. So um, this is why I'm gonna cut everything back. Um, wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it this way, wet combing on the other setters or pet setters if I got someone, somebody else's. Um, so I'm just going to re-wet him because I want to trim this wet. Now this, normally I'll just spray water. Uh, but all my spray bottles are full of something. So I've just got the MD10 Silky Smooth Leave-In Conditioner here. Uh, we want the hair nice and wet. And it, I should get the comb nicely through it. 
sweat it more. Now the reason I want to do it wet, um, the hair is heavier when it's got water in it or on it. And as you can see, um, on the wet hair, it all sits nicely. There's no flyaways. Um, and also it's the same length on the coat. Stand up. No, turn sideways, pop it. I'm just going to re-wet him there. I mean, his back is even almost dry. We're going to dry him after. I want him wet. And you see, it's, this was almost dry. And there's almost so much daylight. And I want to cut back probably up to there. Because this is way too fine. And if he's going to keep matting like he is, he would lose this anyway eventually he'd end up with nothing there um so last time i've cut his tail back drastically and it actually grew back a lot quicker than i expected it didn't come back any thicker sadly uh, that is all in the food i know that now so we want this all nice and wet. No, put that lid down. I will turn him over so you can see when I start cutting. And this down. And I'll right, turn. No, turn. Nicely wet. We're done with that. We are going to need this because you're a fidget, aren't you? And I've got a pretty good idea how much I want to cut off everywhere where the coat starts getting thin. Now we'll all go. And to the matting wet probably took me, I don't know, I didn't check the time exactly. I'd imagine 30 to 40 minutes to get into a point where it's completely tangle free. Now, I'm gonna get my big scissors. And we're going to get cutting. Uh, take his ears off. Now I will curve his ears up when they dry. No, no, do not, do not, do not pull away, please. Let's not be naughty. No. I'm going to take a good chunk, just in a straight line. A good couple of inches of that here, and also the other one. Don't want the ears too short because they do look silly when the ears are too short. Okay. And I'll just check that he's got equal length. I'll put both his ears under his chin. 
and then just stay level off. Right, that's the ears. Now we're going to cut this off. I want him, I want him to stand nice and straight, which he isn't. Right, can you just stay? No, do not turn that way. do cut the hair wet, remember that it's going to be much shorter when you dry it. On a dry coat, where you cut it, that's where the length will be. On the wet coat, if I want this, I want to cut off about that much, about half of his feathers. You probably can't see um, because it's so fine. Stay. So I'm going to lick, stop, stop, stop. Don't be silly. Um, I don't really mind how short it's going to be. Um, stop. I want to take off everything I don't want. So I'll start where his elbows would be. I'm using a gentle curve scissor, very gentle curve scissor. Um, and I'll take off, stay. And I'm slightly angling it up. Stay. I don't want his front in there yet. Stay. We'll have to do it from the other side as well. Stay. I'm going to come up into his waist a little bit. Okay. You, you would basically cut it, trim it back, same way if he was a dry coat. Um, his trousers off. Stop. I'm going to take that back off. Here I want to come off, stay. Hidden. These trousers stay on the outside. And on the inside, we'll do his hocks. I mm. might as well ah, ah. shorten his hock as well. So I'll put my comb in. Move it out. Stay. And I'll take the length off. Sock. Level. Stay. These scissors aren't the best, but it's the only ones I have. 
on the bite. Stay. Stay. And then I'm just going to put a line in there. Stay. Stay. Right. Now we're going to go and do the other side. Can you turn? Turn. Turn. Come on. Turn. Turn. Oh, come on. You know how to turn. Put your head in there. No, you can put your head there. Good boy, stay. And now I'm gonna move a bit off with the other side. Stay straight, do not bend. Stay, stay. 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 What did I just say? Stay. I don't want him bent in half. And I can see where my cut is on the other side. So I'm going to try to do the same length. Stay. 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 And you want the gentle, the deepest part should be just behind the elbow and slightly come up, curve into the waist. Easier said than done. Stay. There will be some tidying up to do when he's dry. Stay. Stay. Now we'll sort out his trousers, nice and short. And do his hock. Stay. Stay. Give a gentle curve in. Stay still. He's got a really long hock. But 
I am leaving a fair amount on there because I do like fuller hops. Now I'll just pick them up off the ground, which is level where his big pad ends. His feet are not trimmed yet. his tail uh, turn that way come on and then uh, I'm gonna do his tail so I'll just pick up all my tail hair to the end stay Drop it down, take the tip off. There's not a lot. Level it with the tip, especially if you say it's got a really long tail. They should reach just about the hop, which, or just above, which that's exactly where he's going. So he's got a very nice short tail, but not too short. His tip is really curling. I don't know why, badly. We want to sort of part it in the middle. Stay. And I actually cut it right back, not that long ago. And he's come back and I'm going to take a fair chunk Lights off. Stop. Um. Right, that's just drawn really badly there. That's it. There's a lot came off everywhere. A big chunk of length. Now we just need to do these front legs. Stop, 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 stop. Tossing around, please. Don't be naughty. And then we're just going to do his front. So I want all of that Neo. There we come onto his front leg. Please. And then pick his leg up. Forget the chest hair. Hang this all down. I'm not going to take far too much off of here and also into a fan shape. These scissors are not very good. They don't fit my hand or my fingers. The only thing I use them for is making these long cuts. And also we check on the inside. Stop. Right, we do the same on the other leg. Stop, 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 stop. And you want to hold it forward, not on the angle sideways. Now we check there. There. And now we're just going to cut his full chest. We'll pick up his legs. See where I finished my line when I've done his side. Okay, I can already see I've cut one side much shorter. Never mind. 
it's very hard to get both sides equal exactly stay straight so we got this much in his front and I need to come about up there so stop 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 please stay still so, right, no, done. I'll drop his head. Not him to stand level. I'll take, stop. Stop, stop. Right, stay. Now we're just going to try to level it off. Ah, ah. Neo. Right, that's it. Good boy. And then we've got some up here. On the inside. Stop. Stop. to cut off his front legs. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. And now I just check. That's his leg. Good boy. Okay. Let's from your leg. We we'll leave that. Good boy. Right guys, so that's uh, oh, the feathers cut. I'm just going to pause now while I tidy up this hair and we will be back for some drying.